Cameron Neubauer from Belmont University. Tell me a little bit. Tell me a little bit about your team winning the OVC championship last year and what that experience was like. I'd have to say that last year was the pinnacle of coming together at the right time and really finding our stride late in the season. It was a tremendous experience for our, our young ladies. A lot of fun. Would really love to do it again, if possible, and couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity we had to celebrate an OVC championship with our fans. And you know, our players were very deserving with the amount of effort and enthusiasm and sacrifice that they put in on and off the court last year in order to compete and win a championship. Give me your general thoughts about this upcoming season. Very excited about this year. Anytime it's October, you're hungry, you're excited, enthused about a new journey, new chapter with this team. We've got a lot of people back from last year's team and new challenges await us uh, day to day with the new players we added to our, our team that are eligible to play have brought a completely different competitiveness to practice. Um, we're hungry to, to prove that, that, that we're not done and that we want to do more. Uh, our non-conference schedule is one that's going to test us and challenge us, and I'm sure we'll, we'll struggle a little bit, but that's all part of the journey is, is getting back on your feet and growing and getting better day to day and moving forward to see what you can do come January, February. What do you like most about your team this year? I love our kids and their selflessness to each other and for our program. Last year we had the benefit of having a group that would, would give up their personal glory to sacrifice for our team's glory. And I can say that because we had nine different players scoring double figures in games. We had seven different leading scorers. And to coach a, a group of young ladies that will give something up for the betterment of the team, that truly understand we over me concept, it's a joy to coach those young ladies and people that love each other enough to lay aside their own ego for the team and for the, their, their partner, their, their teammate next to them. It's a lot of fun and, and it makes it great to come to practice every day and to get to coach a team like that. And so I just hope moving forward we can continue that we over me concept and buy into it and just be, be a team that gives up something for each other. Speak on the challenges your team might face. Well, non-conference wise, we play some very good teams. A number of postseason teams, a number of bigger schools, a number of road challenges. And so in terms of just our schedule, there's a lot built in right there with quick turnarounds, short rest, and then also just the, the rigors of travel. Uh, obviously, you know, we're, we're picked to win the league. So just putting that aside and not letting everybody else's expectations dictate what we think we should be, where we should be, what we should be doing, and just staying focused on the process, focused on getting better every single day with the best attitude and best effort we can put forth. And if we do that, which is a challenge in itself because there will be successes, there will be failures, and the biggest thing is to stay even keeled with the process and to understand that it's a growth process and that that's what we're trying to do is just to grow every day as individuals and as a team to see where we can be in March. Let's talk about the OVC competition and how that plays out for you. It's a gauntlet. I mean, come January, teams are hungry to compete for a championship. Teams are hungry to get after each other. There's always going to be a number of transfers that are eligible who sat out last year with their teams. Um, it's, it's a tough conference and very competitive conference. Uh, you've got great environments that you're playing in on the road and great coaches who do great schemes against each other. And we've got some new, you know, fresh faces in the league this year, which creates possibly different styles. And that's one reason why, non-conference-wise, you need to play kind of different type of teams because we don't all play the same in our league, which creates big challenges. But it's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, the OVC, just in this region that we're in, there's a lot of great basketball, a lot of people that are very involved with, with our league, and it's, it's great to showcase our talents in front of those fans. Looking at the rule changes from last season, uh, one being going from halves to quarters, uh, how do you feel that impacted the game and your growth? Going into it, I wasn't sure. Uh, I thought it was going to change it maybe negatively, but ended up really enjoying it. The four quarters actually felt like you had more time with your team to get organized, uh, different challenges starting each quarter, trying to win each quarter, uh, being smarter about your timeouts, saving them for end of game situations being smarter about uh, you know, personnel, fouls, the one-on-one -on -one situation, 
being taken away, the double bonus always, uh, and just restarting at the quarter with your foul situation. So, so being smart with that, it created new challenges uh, for us as coaches and our team in terms of schemes with what you're going to do and, and how wisely you are with your timeouts and getting your team to stay together on the court without having to use a timeout to collectively bring them back. So it created fun challenges, I think, and I think it also made the experience great for the fans because offensively, I think we definitely saw uh, point differential, not point differential, but point increase. It made the game more fun for fans to watch as well. Plus, you know, for people like you, you enjoy those little, you know, now you just don't have half time, but you also got the end of each quarter, those raffles and free activities to give away freebies at our games too. So I'm sure you'd enjoyed it. We sure do, Coach. <laughs> All right, tell me about your schedule and your non-conference games. We've got a tough non-conference schedule. We have to go to Louisville, who's a very, very good program, probably top five or top 10 this year, and there'll be anywhere from 10 to 12,000 fans. So playing in an atmosphere like that is obviously a very tough challenge, but it's one that we welcome because if you want to play in March, if you want to play in postseason tournament, that's probably the type of atmosphere that we're going to play in in the OVC if we, if we make, get a postseason bid for the NCAA NIT tournament, what have you. Uh, go to Minnesota. We go to a Thanksgiving tournament out in Loyola Marymount where we'll have short turnaround, play back-to-back -back games. Also gives us an opportunity to show our players from different parts of the country. We'll do some service opportunities out in Los Angeles with some folks. You know, and, and Wisconsin Green Bay is our, our first home game of the year, which top 25, one of the best mid-major programs, if not the best in the country. So we definitely have some challenges built in to test us and shove us around, see if we can get smacked in the face a little bit to see how we respond. Because we got to get ready come January because the OVC, uh, they'll, be, they'll be ready for, for every team in the, in the conference for sure.